I, I want just to make a couple of points about uh, implications of all this for the environment. Um, with that loss of social cohesion and community life, you find uh, surveys of business leaders suggest that business leaders in more unequal countries are less concerned with environmental issues. I suspect they think that that's the government's job, not their, not their job. Um, uh, they, if you like, they're more concerned just with their own profits, less sense of social responsibility. Um, and uh, that's a really important difference. I mean, we need our companies uh, to be uh, doing things to uh, reduce their carbon emissions and their environmental impact. You see this in other ways. Um, per hundred dollars of uh, income, more unequal countries produce more carbon emissions. This is carbon emissions per hundred uh, dollars of, of income, uh, national income. Um, it's not a, a very close relationship, but it's statistically significant. Um, you can also see another indication of people's sense of social responsibility. What proportion of waste materials, of glass, of paper, of plastics, um, of metals do they recycle? In more equal countries, uh, they recycle a higher proportion. So you see that uh, inequality is bad for moving towards sustainability, as we've got to do. It's bad also because, of course, uh, the biggest, the people who have the biggest footprints are the wealthy, are the very rich, much bigger footprints than everyone else. And in less, I think, in less people feel the burden of moving towards sustainability is fairly shared, um, we are not going to get... Um, <clears throat> we're not going to be able to uh, get there. And you saw in, in, in France, uh, the attempt to raise fuel taxes uh, as an environmental tax uh, by President Macron was vehemently opposed uh, by the Gilets Jaunes who regarded it as uh, um, unfair.